Diabetes is becoming one of the major health issues nowadays. Even the new generation is getting more and more prone to this health condition. As you all know that uncontrolled blood sugar level can lead to complications like uh, kidney disease, heart problems, cataract, multiple organ failure, etc. The hardest part to manage diabetes is to monitor the diet and to bring the blood sugar levels under check. A little mistake in the diet and lifestyle can lead to further complications. I am here discussing about the type 2 diabetes which is a result of improper diet and lifestyle. In such conditions, the pancreas produce insulin but the cells fail to utilize it in the effective manner. It happens mostly in the following cases, overweight or obesity, eating lots of uh, foodstuffs with sugar and artificial sweeteners, lack of activity and exercise, sitting in front of the TV or PC or using gadgets all the day, stress and even the genetic factors too. Stepping into the world of diabetes is like becoming a lifetime client of a pharmaceutical company starting from low dose medicines to uh, final uh, to higher doses and finally landing into the insulin injections and so on. Fortunately, diabetes can be avoided if the signs and symptoms of pre-diabetes is taken seriously. Now how to check if one is pre-diabetic? First is the blood test. The first and the easiest way is HbA1c test, which is a blood test to check the average level of blood sugar in the last three months. In diabetes, the level of A1c is 6.5% uh, or greater, whereas in pre-diabetes, the value ranges between 5.7 to 6.4. It is mentioned in the lab report that it's in good control, but the patient thinks that everything will be fine, but actually it is not. Another blood test is a fasting blood sugar level which is taken early in the morning after 10 to 12 hours of fasting. If the level is 126 mg per dl then the person is diabetic but any value above 100 and below 125 it is pre-diabetes. And the third test oral GTT test or the glucose tolerance test. In this the person is given any sweet drink and the sugar is tested after 2 hours to see how the body manages the glucose taken. 200 mg per dl means the person is diabetic whereas the blood sugar between 140 and 199 mg per dl is pre-diabetic. Now if a person has not done any of these tests, still we can notice certain signs and symptoms to find if pre-diabetic. One of the main symptoms is fatigue and tiredness. This is often mistaken as common illness, tiredness or exhaustion but actually it may be due to the sudden spike of blood sugar level. And other symptoms include blurred vision, increased hunger, increased urination especially at night, unusual sweating and dizziness etc. People with pre-diabetes is often noticed to have low sugar levels at times. This may be also an indication of impairment of insulin mechanism. Another sign which can be noticed on the skin around the neck, groin or armpit as black velvety thick patch of skin. This is medically termed as acanthosis nigricans which is linked to hyperinsulinism and actually an indication of greater risk of type 2 diabetes. And last but not the least it's important to undergo screening of kidney problems as many people tend to have silent kidney diseases which is a factor of diabetes later. If tested pre-diabetes nothing to panic Keep a check on diet, plan weight loss if overweight, quit smoking and drinking habit if any. Regular exercise and healthy balanced diet can bring one back into the track. And sharing a herbal remedy to prevent diabetes if pre-diabetic. Greek, which is known as uh, Methi in Hindi, Uluva in Malayalam and uh, in Tamil it can be, it is called as uh, uh, Vendayam which is a very effective uh, herb to manage blood sugar levels. All that you have to do is soak 5 grams of uh, uh, Vendayam in uh, warm water overnight. Next morning this mixture can be taken empty stomach. Continue this for 41 days and check the blood sugar levels 
regularly. As said by the Siddha Tiruvalluvar in his verses that Noi nadal, noi mudal nadal, atu tanikyum vai nadal, vai pacheyal which means diagnose the disease, its cause and the right way to cure it and proceed accordingly. Take care and stay healthy. Thanks for watching. Thank you.